we go. Here we are back at Kennywood Park in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And this time it is not pissing down with rain. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good afternoon from Kennywood Park in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are just entering the park now. Skyrocket, yes! Skyrocket's open this time. Oh my god, that made me jump. Um, Skyrocket's open this time. It was not open last time we came. Still Curtain is open this time. It was not open last time we came. So we're heading over there right now uh, to get on that first. They've painted all this since we last came. Like, the whole park just looks really good. Like, it's really bright and like, um, like everything just feels a little bit spruced up, like it feels nice. Um, Kennywood! I want to get some sort of tap that has the arrow on it because that's like the Kennywood thing. Um, it's fairly busy here today, it's a Saturday, and we did, that's loud, and we did think that the, um, that the park was open until 10, but it's only open to 8, so, um, oh my god, I like, heard that noise! Um, so yeah, we do have our work cut out for us a little bit in terms of squeezing everything in, but I think we can do it, I think we'll be fine. We are going to have a good fun time at Kennywood. Skyrocket! You can hear it. Can you see it? Where is it? There it is. Look at this mess of tracks. There is no other coaster in the world that looks like that. It's absolutely insane. And the racer underneath, yay! Whee! I heard mixed reviews. Well, good news for some. That's how you talk. We just got off a steel curse and finally Jack three years later yeah, we got, got to ride it. it. We missed it by like two weeks last time because there were delays with it being built and we got to stare at it but we did not get to ride it but finally we have been on it. I thought it was fucking excellent. I really loved it. Like I don't know whether it was where I was sat or whatever. Like the guys sat in the back and said they know it's like a really bad vibrate and it was uncomfortable whereas I kind of clocked the vibrate but it wasn't like detrimental to the ride i was just floating out my seat the whole time like the air time on it's absolutely nuts and it's just a really interesting layer again 
like I didn't think I was going to like it that much because I don't love a lot of inversions and this ride is kind of all inversions <laughs> when you look at it it's just like a twisted mess of track um, but yeah, I thought that was really, really good. Um, unfortunately, it has an hour and a half queue, so I don't think we'll get to re-ride that today. Um, but I would love to. If it, if it didn't have a queue, I would be straight back on that. I thought it was brilliant. I loved it. Anyone else want to share an opinion? A little vibration. Was it uncomfortable? Yeah, it was, just, well, no, it was fine. Yeah. It was just a vibration. It was like yeah. going around the table. Yeah. Yeah. And trying to enjoy it. Also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Maybe we like... I, kind of annoying isn't it because when you're riding a new coaster you don't know where you where you need to sit where's yeah. good where's bad maybe it's a middle row a rare middle row ride um, you don't really get a lot of those but um, yeah maybe maybe still uh, steel curtain not beef curtains as we keep calling it <laughs> steel curtain maybe steel curtain is a middle row ride um, we are going to head over to phantom's revenge now yeah looks like they have it blocked up Jack said there was a big, a big trim that wasn't there last time. Yeah, there's probably a trim from last time because we're getting brutal airtime. And then I was expecting the airtime, and then there was yeah. this trim, and I was like, oh. Oh, ruined it. I, I still had a really fun time. I, I was like, like, yeah, like, it was, uh, yeah, it was still a, a good fun coaster. But yeah, no, I agree. I did I did think, oh, I don't feel as, uh, yeah, it doesn't. always remember the airtime was brutal. Yeah. And, just and it wasn't this time. Yeah, I, I don't. I uh, remember it being more intense, certainly. But yeah, I had a fun time riding it. It's very busy at this park today, which is such a shame because obviously last time we were here, we kind of got rained off. Ooh. And this time, it feels like oh, we can't really do what we want to do because of the crowds. Um, we're heading over to Skyrocket now because that's the other cred that Jack and I need. Um, which it was closed last time. I think it's a premiere launch. Is it premiere? Yeah. First ever one. Yeah, it was the first ever premiere coaster. Mm. Ah, there we go. I didn't know that. Some fun facts with Jack. It's made for the trip. I couldn't say no. It closed. I would like to do it, but. The second like drop was good, the trains are comfy, there was a good moment of time, and there was a hateful trim and it ruined my experience. Where was the trim? I didn't right know. It was, I can't believe we didn't finish Foster's phone. Oh, right. Okay. That's why they put it in. Chris's phone went It was good though, it was fine. Yeah. What about Steel Curtain? It vibrated and disappointed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Bones, once the gate's open, please be seen in the program. Very nice. I liked it. I like that you're sitting in a pump truck. What did you call me? <laughs> Jack, did you like it? Yes, I enjoyed it. I like to have got a bit of air time. Oh, we enjoyed air time. Yes. yes. Very good. Very good. I am. 
<laughs> Thank you, I did it myself. <laughs> so I really like Sky Rocket because it's one of those coasters I've wanted to go on like forever and I don't know why. It's always intrigued me, but yeah, loads of airtime. That, 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 the pop hat, loads of airtime on there, but breaks. So it kind of grabbed you as you went down, but then it was just really far. Like, I mid through the track, it was really smooth. Fun, fun pops of airtime, fun smooth transitions. I liked the bit where it was like, woo, and then it had a little Gustav bobsled moment at the end. Woo, little bunny hills. It's fun. Again, it's one of those, if it wasn't so busy here today, I would go on that again. But alas, I don't think we have time. But we are, however, at the Cube of the Old Mill, um, which was Garfield's Revenge last time we came, and I really wanted to do it as Garfield's Revenge, uh, but we couldn't. Last time we came here, it, we got rained off, and uh, yeah, everything closed. Um, so we're going to go on it this time, and then I think we're going to go on Jackrabbit. Spooky! Why is it so quiet? It's horrible. Oh my god, I wonder what that was, but it's the other it's a boat going through the other side. Oh, was it? oh. yeah. Oh. oh it's horrible. The clicking of the animatronic! Oh, Do you smell what happens? <laughs> Here's the backside of the water, you are correct. <laughs> the eighth wonder of the world. Finally went on the old mill, yay. We missed it last time, like I said, when it was golf. Oh, I am sad we didn't get to do it as Garfield's Revenge because that sounded absolutely unhinged. But that was themed to stinky cowboy skeletons. I don't, I don't Skin, stinky skeleton ride. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really know what was happening, but it was spooky and glow in the dark, and it was a cool dark ride. I loved it. We're gonna go on a uh, Jack Rabbit now, I think, which is Jack's favourite. I loved it. Need that double down, double oh, up, baby. Double down, delicious. Oh yes, let's do. Oh. We did it, and oh my god! I literally, I was in a row by myself, and I loosened the belt, and I just, I was out of my seat. Ryan, did you enjoy it? I did. They come round, and Jack and I were sat together on the back row. We clipped the seatbelt, and he tightened it really tight. As soon as he walked off, I went, "No!" <laughs> we were stood up on the double down. It was so, so good. good. It's so fun. We are going to. So we have an hour left of the day. We are going to go and see if we can, because they do close the. Um, they do close the queues uh, earlier than the park close in this park, so we are going to go and see if we can get in the queue for more tickets. Go to this stage, yes! I love this, so spooky! Hello, I'm having a very good day at Kennywood, everyone. Goodbye. Yeah! <laughs> 
bulbs of LEDs and the, I like the flashing bulbs that was the thing that made me go Woo! but still trackless haunted house spooky ride with good animatronics nice theming nice pre-show which is very fun I'm glad we got to go on it again and then the boys got off and went on Thunderbolt did you enjoy it? it was, it was very good I didn't expect it to go out the yeah. station it's very good yes very good. I had to stand up because you can't sit one per seat you have to sit in two since there's only three of us at the moment because uh, Ben and Alex have gone off to get the rest of the creds whereas we wanted to go on some dark rides um, shops that way okay Jack knows where he's going around this park that's the thing you can bring Jack to a park once and he knows exactly where he's going whereas I'm like Ooh, walking around Jack did you enjoy Thunderbolt did you enjoy not getting drenched on it this time oh, yeah. it's coming last time I mean I might insert the clip here but <laughs> we we were wet boys afterwards. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the park closes in six minutes. So we are just going to go and have a little mooch in the gift shop because Kennywood has some really nice merch. Um, oh, that's very pretty. Yes, very nice. I love the carousel. beautiful here as well. Look at it go. And the sun is hitting steel curtain in a very, very satisfying way. You can see it through the trees there. And everything's starting to light up. It's really sad the park's not open later, so we don't get to see it like all lit up for night because that would have been very nice. Alas, I'm sure I'll be back here. It's a very conveniently located park. It's quite close to Cedar Point. So, and I enjoy it here. So it's the kind of place I will definitely come back to uh, in the future. But yeah, I think, I will leave it there. It's probably a very short vlog. I don't know how much footage I managed to get. Um, if you liked watching this vlog, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Especially if you like theme park stuff. I almost fell over. <laughs> <laughs> because if I go to a theme park, usually I bring the camera with me and take you along and show you what I get up to. I'm going to take a picture of that. Look at that racer thing. Um, <laughs> and let me know in the comments. Have you been to Kennywood and Blackpool? Because I've been there very similar parks. And if you have been to both, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.